everyone, this is Whitney, and I want to quickly help you figure out how to set up your uh, hosting account with SiteGround. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video to help you because I know when I first started, I had no one to help me, and uh, it would have been nice to just have a quick tutorial on the actual steps I need to take and just some quick little tips to help you when signing up. So first, um, this is the one that I definitely recommend you guys choose, the Manage WordPress Hosting. So you go click on that and get started. And definitely starting out, you want to just um, choose a startup plan. It's the cheapest and it makes the most sense for what you're doing if you're just uh, starting out with the new blog. So you go ahead and click here to get the plan. If you have a domain name um, that I recommend using Namecheap, but also if you want to just put keep everything in one place, that's totally fine too. You can go ahead and put in a domain name here. Um, so you could register a new domain or if you already have domain name or you register with a company like Namecheap, you can go ahead and put your domain in here and move forward to the next one. I'm going to just say I already have a domain name just so I can proceed to see what happens. Okay. Okay. It's not going to let me. So I have a, a dummy account with, um, see if it works. I asked uh, SiteGround if they could help me out by, for the purpose of this video, with, for with a new account, so I could um, act like I'm a new user to kind of help you guys along to share on how you can set up your uh, hosting account. So I went and just put in a, a dummy domain name for the purpose of this video. And you can go, just go ahead and put in your information here, your payment information. Definitely just. The startup plan is what you want to do. When I first started, I did the 12-month period because I was um, very new to this. I did not want to commit long-term to something that I did not know fully if this was going to work. So I just did the 12-month. You're free to do, um, obviously, whatever you want to do. I think it's, you get a better deal if you go longer, of course. But um, for me, starting out personally, I just chose the 12-month part because I didn't want to invest that much money for something that I... Um, was just getting my feet wet, but I um so I just recommend you do the same if you want. It's totally up to you. They do have an SG site scanner here that I don't um use. So if you want to pay for this, you can. I don't use this, and I haven't had any issues with my site. So just letting you know, this is up to you. I haven't used it, and it's another way to save you some money by not using it. Um, and you click these buttons here and pay now. And then once you um, press this button, you should receive an email from SiteGround giving you all the information for your cPanel, um, the information you need just to log in. And then I'm going to show you, we have a special price, flash deal. All right, so I'm gonna log in using one of my dummy accounts that I got from SiteGround just to kind of quickly show you how to do it once you sign in. I'm going to see if I can sign out. Um, Log in with different user. Oh shoot! I guess I have to. Um, I forgot the email that they gave me. Oh, here it is. Oh, it didn't save. I think it's test. It worked. Thank God. Okay. All right. Let's see. So I'm gonna log into my account. So once you get to this step right here, um, you're gonna go to websites. And then you're gonna go over here to create a new website. And this is how you're gonna get started. So um, if you have a new domain, you can choose this one, existing domain. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna choose temporary domain. So uh, this means basically if you already have a domain name, um, you go to existing domain. If you have a brand new domain name with SiteGround, you go here. But for this purpose of the video, I'm going to go to temporary domain only because um, this is just for the purpose of this video. So they just gave me a um, just a general fake little host name for this. And I'm going to go continue. And then I'm going to go to start a new website. And WordPress here. 
And then this is where I'm not going to create a WordPress um, login here, but this is where you can do this to access your website to um, WordPress once it get all, it, everything gets installed. I'm going to go to skip and create empty site. But if you would uh, want to here, you can go ahead and create your WordPress login for when you get to your website. And what I'm talking about that is an, uh, one way once you do your website, um, I do this all the time. This is how I log into my website. You put in your domain name and then you do a backslash wp-admin. And this is how you get to your website through the WordPress admin panel. So after uh, you go ahead and have your, your site signed up, this is what you would do. You put in your domain name and then you put in um, WP slash admin. Now, um, what is that called? What is that thing called? Hyphen. Okay, so I'm going to just skip and create empty site for the purpose of this video. You're going to ask you want a SG site scanner again and you can go ahead and skip this part and then just say finish. So they're going to create your website. And um, if you have any questions along the way, I definitely love SiteGround's help. You can go here to this question mark and then it will um, get you started. You can go to the view the help center. And I don't know if I should have done that while they're trying to create my site. Um, we can go to contact us. And then it just will ask you, kind of drill down what is your question to get you the right help. And um, report site down, domain assistance, WordPress assistance. You put in your question here and they will be in contact with you uh, very shortly. So they have a very good response time, which is one of the things that I love about SiteGround. So um, if you ever need help with anything, if your site doesn't make sense, if it's crashed, um, if you just have a question because something's not looking right, even if it's kind of regarding your theme, they'll even help you out with those type of things. So um, I definitely recommend using this for any questions that you have. Don't feel stuck if you don't know what you're doing, which most likely you don't because there's no real good guide to this um, blogging thing uh, other than my help. I'm here to help you guys. So if you need any help along the way, just let me know. But definitely ask first, SiteGround. And um, if they can't help you, then just you can shoot me an email and I can try and figure out how to help you. Or I definitely utilize Facebook groups too. Um, one of my one time I had my site went crazy. I had didn't know where to go, so I went to the blogging like we mean it group, and I told them like, guys, my site has crashed. I have no idea what to do. Can someone just look at it and, and help me out? And then there were a couple of developers that got right on it told me what to do. There was a plugin actually that had um, like crashed my site. So they told me to deactivate that plugin and um, my site just went back to like perfection. So um, it's just Facebook groups are a great way to get help for free uh, to build community and to help others and get help yourself. So um, the that book, that Facebook group was blogging like we mean it. And I know I mentioned it in my article uh, below. So definitely want to make sure that you join a group like that. Okay. So now that we're all set, I'm going to go to my site. Um, oh, I don't have my site fixed yet. Just kidding. I'm going to go to manage site. And this is the area where you can, um, I highly recommend just going ahead and getting your SSL certificate right away. So um, I believe it's under security. And then you can go to HTTPS enforce and just let's get this out of the way. Because it's a dummy account, it will not let me have an SSL certificate, but you can do this with your account because it is real. So you can go ahead and get the SSL certificate, press get, and then go down here, go to let's encrypt, and then you're going to press get, and then it's going to do its cycling, its loading, and get you set up with the SSL certificate. So once you do that, you're, um, you can check that box off and you now have a secured website, which is awesome. And then um, under, let's see. 
just looking around here because they did a new update with their um, dashboard. You want to take it one step at a time. So once you do that, your site is set up. If you want, you can go ahead and set up your email account, which should be something like your name. It could be a hello at um, whatever your domain name is. You want to have some uh, email address that's tied to your domain name because um, it looks more professional and it's just it's uh, a good business practice to have um, your email address with your website name because it makes it even look more legit. So you go here to, to add your email account. I can't do this because this is just a dummy account, but this is where you would do this. And yet again, if you have any questions, make sure you go to um, SiteGround Help right here with this question mark. And also um, make sure, well, I've done this. It's a much better user experience. If you uh, connect your, um, oops, why did I do that? If you connect your, um, your email account with Gmail there. I, I think I have an article in there that shows you how to do it because the user experience is much better. And if you go, you'll see what I'm talking about. If you just try and use SiteGround, um, their email platform, it's a web based and it's horrible. So just please, I recommend it. Um, it's free and some that you guys can definitely check out for yourself. Um, it's just taking me right back to this. I don't know what I did. Um, Okay, back to this. And that's that's how you set up your account. So basically, after you do that, you have your SSL certificate, you set up your email account, you are now established, but now you're like, okay, what the heck? Now what do I do? Oh, and for example, if you have um, a domain name with, through Namecheap, this is your name server that you wanna go back into Namecheap and direct your name servers um, in Namecheap to this right here. So whatever your name server is, this is what you want to put in to Namecheap. So it's directing your domain name to SiteGround because that, and you have to do that first before you move forward and anything else for WordPress. Um, WordPress is another whole ball game and this is how you install your theme. And I have a video from someone else that was really good. I don't think I need to redo a video when he did a, a, a job well done on it. So, um, I have that under the WordPress section under this article. So if you have any other questions, just let me know. And um, that is how you set up your SiteGround account.